Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, last week we talked about a post that um, Microsoft had. And um, that post was mentioning that soon the control panel will be deprecated in favor of the settings app. And that created a lot of stir. I think there's a lot of people that weren't really uh, for it. And especially if you're a power user, I can understand why you do want. And, you know, I think my idea that I gave today about an on-off switch, if you want to just hide it, why not? That could be a, an option, but just keep it in. Well, Microsoft, as over the weekend, changed the wording of the paragraph. So last week it said control panel is going to be deprecated soon in favor of the settings app. Now it says some of the settings of the control panel will be migrated to the settings app. But no more control panel deprecation or removal of any kind mentioned. So um, I think they fully understand that it's impossible to remove it. Um, and that's a big part of what I was thinking that even though it's not a good idea to have two settings uh, app, you know, one a control panel and one settings. I think the interesting thing about this is possibly, um, you know, having control panel for the power user and uh, settings app for the regular user, and that'll be fine actually. And uh, you know, and why not do what I, th I was saying. Put a non-off switch that eyes it if, you know, you're not a power user. You don't need to necessarily see it or have it somewhere. Um, like I said, for standard users, most of the settings now are in the settings panel. Uh, it's really just power users that need to go to the control panel from time to time uh, and tweak things. So uh, they kind of admit that it's pretty much impossible. And, you know, part of it, I think, also has to do with some compatibility issues in the underneath uh, underlying code. They just can't remove it because it's going to break stuff. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.